Greetings, YouTubers. Welcome to the channel. This is my 2010 F-150 4x4 4.6. We are going to be doing a little bit of a test today. Now, I do have a playlist on this truck of all the stuff I've done to it. A lot of engine work, a lot of uh, just stuff to get it back on the road after it's been set in quite some time. The only issue I have right now with it still, kind of annoying, it has a six-speed transmission in it. And then when it gets into fifth gear, it shudders a little bit. Then it goes into sixth gear. It's okay no problem fifth gear is the only gear that actually shutters a little bit now i originally had thought it was a transmission uh torque converter but no it turns out it's okay no problem there if it was going to be a transmission torque converter issue it would be shuttering in all the gears it's just one particular gear fifth gear so what we're going to do today we're going to see if this works i've done this in power steering units in the past and it seems to work and what we're going to do we're going to put some of this lucas transmission slip anti uh, magic potion stuff in it we're going to see if this actually works this works for all kind of transmissions except cv uh, cvt transmissions and the fluid so uh it says that it does uh help from slipping and all that now uh, i don't know if that fifth gear maybe there's something mechanically wrong inside maybe there's a bushing worn or something and it's not really getting those uh, clutches together but nevertheless, I thought it would be kind of fun and interesting to see if this stuff would actually make this uh, transmission actually not shutter no more in fifth gear. So I was almost not going to do this video, but I thought, you know what, somebody else might have this same issue. And a lot of 4x4s, you know, this year, 2010, after about 2012, they had a lot of problems with the six-speed transmissions. And some people have slipping issues and shuttering issues. And turns out it's actually inside the transmission. It's not actually the torque converter. But, you know, you'll just have to do your research and see what you can find out. So someone earlier said, go ahead and just put some brake fluid in the transmission fluid. I thought, no, you don't want to do that unless it's an emergency because that will pretty much destroy the transmission. So I wanted to do something that was a little more safe. So this is what I decided to do. Uh, just go ahead and put this in. This was a, I got it for 12 bucks. It was actually on sale and there's a cord here. So what we got to do, we got to dump this whole thing in. It's kind of thick. It's kind of chilly out there. I don't have a dipstick up here. What I've got to do is go under the vehicle, get up there and unscrew a plug and somehow get that in. I think what I'm going to do is try to run a tube from the side of that transmission all the way up to the top and use a funnel and kind of let it get in that way. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, let's go out on the highway. I want to give you a good idea and maybe perhaps a listen to this noise, this slipping. All right, so let's go ahead and get down the road and start her up. And uh, yeah, got to love it. I got a digital oil pressure gauge. I got a video on that, how I did that. Actually, uh, I blew the cinder unit out. I had to replace the cinder unit. I got a video on that coming up. But anyway, let's get down the highway here, and I want to see if I can get this up to about uh, highway speed, and about see if we can get into fifth gear and let it slip a little bit. Give you guys a listen to the noise because I really shouldn't be making videos if I can't give you guys an indication what the noise is like. But um, a slipping noise, well, just about everybody knows what that is, especially in a transmission. So I want to give this stuff time to uh, kind of thin out. That stuff is like molasses, so we got to get that uh, thinned out a little bit. All right, so here we go. There's first, there's second, third. I think it shifts pretty fast. There's fourth already. I'm doing 35. May have to get her just a little bit where it's smooth. And you'll hear it. It'll be like a horrible vibration noise. So let's see if we can get it to do it. There we go. Hear that? Do it again. Did it again there. Yeah, it's brief, but you can hear it there. But if I kind of feather the throttle a little bit with my foot, it'll, I can get it to do a little bit longer. But let me try it again one more time here. I'm going to see if we can do it one more time. Well, it won't do it when you want to do it. Get it. There we did it. It did it again there. Hear that? There it went. Hear that? Right there. I got it to do it the best I could, but trust me, if I'm on a nice long level road, if I'm just barely feathering that uh, pedal, boy it's, it vibrates it'll vibrate for 25 or 30 seconds but uh, anyway you get the idea so let's go back let this thing cool off and put this Lucas stuff in I've got it 
up in here a little bit. I've got a 19 millimeter wrench for the plug under there, and uh, this thing's still pretty hot. Don't know if I can run a hose down there. If not, I might have to bite the bullet and just kind of use a use the squirter that I have. So let me go under here and take this plug off. All right, so I'm under here. I got the light shining up, and see that right? Let me get the red wrench here. It's a little tight, so bear with me a second. You see this guy right here? That's the thing I gotta take off, so. This cat is hot, and it's real close, so if you're, if you're doing this, what's well, still hot, be careful, wear gloves. All right, so that come loose pretty easy. Crazy how they stuck this up in here like this. Let's see if I can get my hand up in here. Nope, I'm gonna have to turn around here. All right, so I think we just about got it right there. See it right there? Actually, the heat feels good from the cat now. It's kind of chilly out here. So I think, I don't know if this is gonna be big enough for me to even put a hose down in it. I'll come out, all right, see what the level is. Once you pull it out, it's a pretty long stick. It needs a little fluid. So, it looks like I should be able to get something in there. So let me figure out how I'm going to do this. All right, so here are my options. I got this thing here I can use. It's a quart and gallon fluid pump, or I can use this long hose and squirt it in this, but stuff is, see how that stuff is thick. Oh, so not sure how I'm going to do this. It's kind of cold out here, so... Let me figure out something here. Figure out the best way to get this in there without spilling it all. All right, so after weighing in all my options, we're just gonna do the pump. I had to actually heat that up a little bit to get that to slide over that, and that should fit right on there. May take a while to get that in there, but I think this should work out a little bit better than having that stringing all the way down and having a chance at coming out, me not seeing it. And it will take forever for it to go down there. So, all right, we're gonna start pumping this in. We're back, we'll be back here shortly. All right, guys, so this is my setup, kind of a, a nightmare. Uh, I'm taking this bottle. I'm actually moving the bottle up and down, and I'm pushing that fluid in to the transmission up there. So I'm just basically doing this, and it takes a while to uh, push on that because the stuff's like molasses, so it's going in slowly. All right, after what seemed like an eternity, I finally got it all in. It took about 20 minutes. And you can see I got the last little bit there going. The bottle's really light. Amazingly, I didn't spill any up there. See the hose going up. See all the bubbles. It's pretty much empty. Now let's go ahead and take this out. And my arms are literally killing me right now. Oh, all right. Oh, let's grab the bottle. Oh, I kid you not, my arms are killing me right now. And the camera's even freaking out. Focus. All right, so that's in. All we got to do is put that plug on, tighten that down, start it up, and we'll take it down the highway. You know, it might work, but uh, if it doesn't, I'm not going to be too upset because, you know, I probably have something internally going on. Like I said, the clutches aren't squeezing very tight. Maybe i got a bushing or something, you know, bad in the transmission. But it'll be interesting to see if it takes care of some of the shutter. I'll know if it worked or not, so uh, we'll go ahead and put this back on and see what we got. Hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, so we're full. I've already checked the dipstick, and uh, we're good. All right, so that plug is pretty tight. My arms are so tired, they're shaking right now. I'm holding the camera steady as best I can. If you get this plug from the front, lay close to the front tire, it's not so bad to get all right, so that's tight. All right, so we got our tools out, we got everything out. Don't you love the mud this time of the year? So uh, there's no real instructions. You just dump the stuff in, you start your vehicle up, and you go. And I'm, you know, I'm doing this to see if it's going to work. You know, if it was warmer, we're in the middle of winter. You know, if I had time, I'd pull the transmission out and do it right. But I'm just trying to buy a little more time here, and we'll see if this works. So let's go ahead and start it up and take it out the road. All right, guys. Well, you win some, you lose some. Well, I lost ten dollars, or well, well, it was actually about twelve bucks with tax and all. And um, 
it helped a little bit but I still have it if I right there I can kind of hear it it helped it just a little bit but I probably have a clutch pack that's probably you know beyond to the point where fluid like this is not going to help it's a friction modifier but it was worth a try but I think if your uh, vehicle has a slight slip in it I think it would probably help you out but if you have a really bad shutter probably not going to you know help you out but that's just my opinion maybe your vehicle's a little bit different and uh, all that but uh, I've given her a chance I've driven it 20 miles she's nice and warm but I can tell you it's drivable it's not too bad of a deal you know big of a deal if you don't mind a little shutter so let me get down there's there's fourth right there hear that just a little bit of a shutter but not nearly as bad as it was so yeah I think it's probably worth trying if you're, you know, in the middle of winter like I am and you want to get a little more time out of your transmission. I don't think it'll hurt to spend 10 or $12 for the Lucas stuff. So that's my opinion and that's my review and I'm going to stick to it. All right, everyone, before we end the video here, I wanted to give it another try. I wanted to wait uh, about two days and it's been about two days and see if there's any, uh, any improvement. And not really. I still have a little bit of a slip and all that. So I don't think it really helped that much. So, you know, I just want to be one of those guys on YouTube to tell you the truth. And uh, for me, it really didn't work. So, you know, for you, it might. But I still think I have something internally probably wrong. Maybe some bad clutches uh, in the transmission. So I thought it was fun to do this little experiment and see if it would work. And uh, I did pay for this product out of my own pocket. It was fun to do. And I hope you enjoyed it. And until my next video, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later as it shudders and sort of slips down the highway.